Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's gonna be a really quick video here today. Um, picked up some fire extinguishers for the car and uh, opted for the Element fire extinguishers. I guess they're a little bit different than your typical fire extinguisher in the sense that they're smaller for the size, they last longer um, and they don't need to be recharged. So I think there are some disadvantages to them uh, compared to your standard fire extinguisher. Uh, but the idea that I don't have to recharge them <clears throat> um, is really, really appealing to me. Uh, and hopefully I never have to find out, uh, or hopefully I never have to use them. Um, fire extinguishers, or these fire extinguishers, are E50s, which I guess they last for 50 seconds. And I'm trying to figure out a way of mounting them uh, to the car. And they've got some seat mounts as well as a roll bar mount uh, that Element makes, but they are very expensive. They're like 80 bucks, and uh, I just don't think it's, you know, $80 is not worth it. Um, so I'm trying to adapt one of these quick clamps um, that you see here, and essentially it grips uh, the fire extinguisher, and then you tighten this down. Uh, I think we can even go one more. You tighten this down, and it doesn't move. Um, and it's got a small mounting hole here. And the idea is going to be that I use this clamp to then attach that to the roll bar, something like that. Um, so the only thing that really needs to happen here is I have to drill this out, which should be pretty quick. And then we can mount it onto the car. So we'll go ahead and do that here real quick. This entire setup is much cheaper than the $80 that you have to spend with Element to mount their stuff. Right, this screw cost me a buck, maybe less than that. This clamp was, you know, $16 or something like that, uh, readily available uh, at uh, Summit Racing. Uh, and then this rubber clamp, you get them in pairs of two on Amazon for like nine bucks. Um, so to mount one of these, you know, maybe cost $20. Uh, so it seems a lot cheaper. Hopefully it's just as effective. Um, and... Uh, yeah, we'll see here in shortly. We'll see here in a second. Let me just um, drill this out here real quick. All right, so this is the mount that's done. We just drilled out the rubber piece a little bit uh, and we're lucky the, the head on the machine screw does clear the extinguisher. Um, so the only thing left to do is mount this on the car. Probably gonna use some blue Loctite here uh, just to keep everything together. Uh, from the vibration of the car. So let's head over to the garage here and see what this is gonna look like. Okay, so we're in the garage, we're looking at the car and I think that we're gonna mount it here on the bar. Uh, that way it's visible through the window and then uh, anyone who needs to grab it can run up to the car, pull open or like open the back door and just grab it off the rear roll bar. Um, I thought about maybe somewhere else in the car and maybe in the front seats, but I don't want anyone to have to reach into the car or reach, like kind of reach down into the car to get it. I think opening the back door and grabbing this seems pretty accessible. So I'm gonna grab some blue Loctite here and mount this and see what it looks like. Fire extinguisher is mounted. Uh, I've got it mounted with the instructions facing outwards. So hopefully whoever uh, pulls it out, uh, notices the instructions and reads them really quickly. Because uh, they are a little bit, this these these extinguishers are a little bit different uh, than your typical extinguisher, and I'll probably put a label here that says to pull on this. Um, but all you would do is pull, and then the extinguisher comes out, and it's ready to use. Uh, the nice part about this system is uh, it's super visible from the car because you can see it through the window. Um, and then when I'm not at the track, I can take these extinguishers off and put them away and not have to worry about someone breaking the window to want to play with this because maybe it looks like a road flare or something like that. Um, and I think that's it. The other issue here maybe is um, putting a second mount uh, up here. I, I, I'm kind of against the idea of that because it requires you to then uh, pull twice uh, to release the fire extinguisher instead of pull once. Um, but what the issue is that the top of this extinguisher is on the heavier side. And so I'm worried that over time, this mount will turn and want to sag downward. Um, but I guess we'll just see. I've got 
enough clamps to do another one if I want to. Um, but we'll try it out as is and drive around and see if it jiggles its way down. And if, if it does, I'll add a second one. Uh, but I think the simplicity of only having to pull once is ideal. Uh, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions about what we've done here today, don't hesitate to ask. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching these videos. And we'll see you at the next one. Take care. Bye.